Alrighty everyone, welcome, welcome to the call today, tonight, this evening, this morning, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this, so good to have you with us. My name is Ty, I'm based here in Auckland, New Zealand, and I am obsessed with freedom, guys. That is why I'm here, that is why you're here, because most of us, we want to set ourselves free. We want to get out of the rat race, we want to figure out a smarter way to, to buy our time back, right? And so when I showed up here to learn about crypto three years ago, what I came for, I didn't realize I was going to get more than that. And what I, what I encountered was a community that was on fire and running in that same direction towards freedom. By freedom, when I say freedom, I mean freedom on the inside, I mean freedom on the outside, spiritual, mental, emotional, and then from there, physical and financial as well. And so today is special, guys. Today, just to give you some context, I know some of you might be brand new here. So cool to see everyone all over the planet dropping in the chat where you're tuning in from. But today is, is extra special for me because when I got started here, uh, one of the very first videos I ever watched uh, of, of this education space of learning about crypto was with the amazing educator we get to hear from today. So a huge privilege and honor to be able to host this gentleman for us today so that you can hear something of what I heard three years ago, but with a whole lot more hot sauce all over it. Because this is the thing, today is a big day in the crypto space. If you don't know anything about crypto, if you don't know anything about Bitcoin, that is okay. We all start in the same place, but today is extra special and I won't go into explaining why just yet. But just know this, that you're at the right place at the right time. And someone may have shared this uh, Zoom link with you. It may have gotten out of hand. We've got people all over the planet here, but that's, that's okay. Uh, maybe you're watching this recording later. Either way, just know this, that freedom is possible. And it just takes believing a little bit more than what you're used to believing. When I first showed up, I had no idea what was possible. And I say that just because, you know, we all grow and expand in different rates and paces, but it depends on how hungry you are and how much you want your life to change. So if you're ready for some more freedom in your life, why don't you drop freedom in the chat and we're going to get started in just a moment. But uh, today, guys, like I said, it is special. And, and if you're ready for some breakthrough and some more freedom, then pay attention. Put your phone away, put it on silent, turn off distractions, get that notepad out because there's some information you're going to hear today, which I believe can seriously shift your situation. There are some big things that have been happening in the global finance space. And most of us are familiar with just showing up to a job and trading our time for money. But there is a way to get ahead of the space. And there's a way to get into another phase of what I believe is going to be the future of finance. And you're going to hear some of that today. And if you're brand new and some of the stuff goes over your head, don't worry. You know, we all start somewhere, but we've got plenty of resources we can share with you. So if you've got the Zoom link and you're not aware of the Facebook group, we've got one called The Fit Life. You can join that. There's a bunch of free resources in there. Or do the YouTube thing and get on my channel. There's a bunch of content in there as well. We just want to educate and empower you and help you really start to understand and have some clarity so that you can enter the digital currency space with confidence and therefore shift your life and shift your family's life. And so with that, guys, I want to transition to introducing a legend to you today and uh, I am still half pinching myself that this moment is happening because this man's had a profound impact on my life on our community's life globally you know he's been in the in the crypto space for a very very long time I'm not even gonna try and guess how long but he's been educating at a global level for years and years traveling the world speaking on stages with tens of thousands of people in the audience and stadiums and at the same time online every day showing up for our community every day you know what this man has done in private he shines now in public because he puts in the work he really is ahead of the curve in, in researching and learning what's going on and he has shown up in a huge way for us. I remember my early days watching him live, watching his favorites videos, learning about supply and demand zones and Fibonacci. You might not know what that word means. Most of us can't spell it, but it still is a big deal and you'll learn about it eventually. But it is so special, guys, to be able to welcome you, um, Curtis Cobain to this call, Blockchain Cobain, a crypto expert. And I am just so excited for you to be able to hear from him today. So, Kurt, I'm going to find you in this stacked out chat. And pin you, my friend, and let's see if I can even find, my goodness, what a turnout, guys. If you unmute yourself, that'll make it so much easier, because there's so many people on this. Let's see, there we go, there we go. Oh my goodness, guys, we are in for it. So, oh my man, thank you so much for giving us your time today. We are all so blessed and excited and honored to have you with us. Seriously, man, like this is a big deal for us. I know we've got an international audience all over the planet. Michigan showing up as well, USA showing up strong. But just thank you, man. Thank you for pioneering so much in the space for our global community and, and for showing up on calls like this for, for people you've never met to just share your heart and what you've experienced and, and help us grasp what's possible in the space, man. So, man, I've got no agenda except to give you space to share today. So I just want to say thank you for your time. And then after that, we've got another special guest jumping on and, and to wrap up and give some perspective of what's possible here. But Kurt, thank you, my friend. Over to you, bro. Let's go. Drop some fire emojis in that chat, fam. And let's get it. Oh, man, Ty, it's an absolute honor and a blessing to be here. Listen, family, I don't know how many of you guys have uh, been on the sessions with me and Mike before, but if you've never been on a session with us and this is your first time seeing me teach, I'm, this is my disclaimer, I'm going to blow your minds, okay? 
So if you just got your hair done, you got one of those new fancy toupees or you got one of those real nice wigs or something like that. I don't want anybody sending me an invoice of like, oh, Kurt, my, my hair is in the parking lot. It's covered in gravel. I don't I don't want to have any of that stuff sent to me. I know how it gets. Somebody's going to be sitting here with the whole thing just flapping in the breeze. I don't I don't want to be responsible. OK, so now I, I'm a little it's good. It's going to be hard for me not to, to smile during this call. So just bear with me because you're going to see the back teeth a lot. OK, like Tiffany, I appreciate you being here. We got Golden in the building. Let's go. We got Cisco in the house. I see you, Damon. Let's go, family. Listen, I got all my cousins in here today. Let me see. I've got to see all y'all. Y'all in here looking like a bank commercial, okay? Just, just looking like money. Let me see here. Who all we got? Who all? Let me see. Let me see. There we go. I see you, Samuel. What's going on, fam? All right. All right. Let's get it. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Was that? Is that Pedrino? Let's see. I, I see you, bro, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Richard, let's go. <laughs> all right, fam. So. Y'all may not notice, but me and Richard are actually blood brothers, okay? I've just got a much darker suntan. I spent a lot of time outside, okay? We were born. We, we shared the womb together. So our height is the same. So just know we share the same parents, all right? <laughs> we, we are the exact same height. We are. It's sh shocking, shockingly, right? It's, it's rare to find somebody that's, that's like your height in the company. So at events, I always look across the room like, still dunk on you. Just don't forget that, all right? All right, let's get right into some sauce today, fam, because I know I know you guys probably have a ton of questions, and I want to make sure I can get enough information out. Let me see here. Can, uh, can you guys pass me the host for a second? I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it for you guys, man. Let me see here. Awesome sauce. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. So listen, guys, I am thrilled because we have something phenomenal going on right now in the cryptocurrency space. Some of you guys may or may not know about this. There is an event taking place within the next few hours called the Bitcoin halving or halving, however you want to pronounce it. But it is one of those things that only happens once every four years. It is a magical time to be in crypto. And honestly, it's one of those things where if you've ever been in crypto for, for a, a, bu a bull run or any kind of extended period, do me a favor and put a, as a matter of fact, let's do this easier this way. Put a 111 in the chat if this is your first halving and your first bull run. I just want to see how many folks we got in here. Let's see here. Oh, my gosh. We have so many babies. All right. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Oh, y'all about to be so. This is probably going to be, this disclaimer, probably going to be one of the most exciting times for you guys as traders. Like, this is, oh, man, you don't even know what's about to happen. Oh, this is so fun. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to get to the point. So. With Bitcoin, right? And I want to I want to set the tone with this right quick. With Bitcoin, there is a certain amount of Bitcoin that is going to be in existence, and there will never be more than 21 million. Currently, we're at around 19 million Bitcoin circulating right now. All right. So every four years, all right, there is something called the having that's coded into Bitcoin's blockchain. All right. It is a magical thing that when I saw this, it blew my mind and I understood completely after that you, you guys ever like watched a video or like a, a documentary on history and like the moment you see it it just automatically changes your, your whole perspective on how you view things like oh i didn't know that was like that that's crazy right so notice what's happening right now in the very beginning when bitcoin was first created right there were 50 bitcoin being shared amongst all the bitcoin miners every 10 minutes all right so every time a transaction was verified and confirmed on the blockchain the miners were rewarded a portion of that 50 Bitcoin, right? So they shared this big pool every 10 minutes, 50 Bitcoin went out. So if you were mining Bitcoin back in the day, you were making a killing, all right? After this thing called the halving, which is this yellow line right here, right? Back in 2012, the first halving took place. Everybody was thinking, well, why would I want to keep mining Bitcoin if the amount of Bitcoin that's coming to existence is going to get cut in half, right? So remember, I told you guys, every 10 minutes in the beginning, 50 Bitcoin came into existence, right? After the having it went to 25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes being shared amongst all the miners. Now, some people are saying, well, Kurt, if I was a miner, I probably cut my mining rig off because I'm doing the same amount of work for less Bitcoin. Doesn't make any sense. And then you got to think about supply and demand, right? How powerful those two words are. It's one of the reasons why I love trading with supply and demand, not support and resistance. We'll, we'll get there later on in another class. Don't worry about that. But when you think about supply and demand, if there's demand for something, and the supply lessens, what does that do to the price, family? Let me know in the chat. 
All right. Because anybody here who has children, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody bought a PlayStation like a couple years ago, right? <laughs> when they first released, like that new PS5, that new Xbox. We went into GameStop or we went into like Target. We went into these, these, these best buys. We we're like, I'm going to buy a PlayStation for the kids for their birthday or Christmas. And you went in there and they were like, sorry, all sold out. You're like, what do you mean all sold out? Like, it just came out. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. And when you went to look for them, you went online, you went to that magical Google. They were only on eBay. And if you wanted a PlayStation, you had to spend between $700 to $1,000 just to get a PlayStation because the demand was so high, price had to reflect that. It's the same thing with Bitcoin. The demand is so high, price has to reflect that. And every time we have a halving, you'll notice what happens to the price, right? After the halving, price runs to the upside. Notice what's happening over here again. Another yellow line. We have the halving. What does price do? Runs to the upside. Same thing again, yellow line. We have the halving. Price runs to the upside. Same thing again, yellow line. Oh, that's right. That's right. We're right here. We're at the beginning of something beautiful. Now, you guys have looked back in history. Having big move up. Having big move up. Having big move up. What do you guys think is going to happen now? What do you guys think is going to happen at this moment right now? Right? This is why I'm so excited. This is why it's hard for me to stop smiling. I'm not going to lie. Right? <laughs> like, all of us on this call that have been in crypto are like, bruh. Like, I, listen, Greg's probably a little more, or Richard, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the, 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 the green notes. I was just talking to Greg and Mel. Richard's probably more excited than the rest of you guys. Because me and Richard talk on, on, on WhatsApp, and I, I send him cool stuff. So he's a little more excited than the rest of you guys because his portfolio is like, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be some fireworks real soon. But you guys can get the same opportunity that, you know, that I share with everybody else inside the company. If you've been inside the company, you haven't been on the go-live sessions, just as simple as coming in, tuning in, getting the information, being a student, being coachable, guys. Right now is not the time to want to come in and be God's gift to trading. It's not. Just, just come in and be a student. Just come in and be coachable. I promise you. It's like if Steph Curry showed up and said, hey, guys, I'm going to teach you how to shoot jump, shot, jump shots. And the first thing you say is, oh, I'm better than you because I watch you on TV and I can outdo you. No, no. Just, just be excited the guy's got some time to show you. All right? Like, sit down, be a student, and absorb the information. It will behoove you. And there are so many amazing things taking place now because we always say every bull run, this one's different. This one's special. But this one is different. And this one actually is extremely special. We have so many governments. We have so many institutions. We have so many just, it just private sector investors coming into this space now because of something called the Bitcoin ETF. All right. The ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. It simply means whenever they offer Bitcoin to their customers now, they have to have the actual Bitcoin on the, on the books, on their actual exchanges. Right. So you guys may be noticing the price of Bitcoin. In the beginning of 2023 was around $16,000, right? At the end of 2023, this thing was already up at a price point of around $40,000. The beginning of 2024, we ran all the way up to around $71,000. This is the first time in history we've ever made an all-time high before the halving. This is legendary stuff you guys are seeing right now. Now, I want to preference this a little bit more because we know women lie, men lie. Right. But these numbers. Right. We got to pay attention to the numbers. Think about this. Every day there are currently 900 Bitcoin being mined and created and put into the network. These institutional players are buying 4000 Bitcoin a day. Is is, is that clear? Ex exactly. Exactly. Some of you guys are like, wait, the math ain't mathing, Kurt. The math ain't mathing. How is it only 900 being created and they're buying 4000 Bitcoin every day? Essentially. These moments when you see selling pressure taking place, they are literally scaring people out of the market and, and just scooping up all the BTC. Now, here's the deal. If we've seen this much price action coming from them buying up all the Bitcoin that we've seen from, you know, the price points we have, the amount of Bitcoin coming to existence after this date, right, after the halving, there's going to be around 450 Bitcoin being released to the network every day. And they're still going to be buying around 4,000 Bitcoin. What do you think that's going to do to the price now? Like, what, like and, and there's, there's also another sector we're not talking about. We're just talking about America and all the things that are happening with them. There's a whole wave coming in now from China. And Hong Kong has just been approved to issue out Bitcoin ETFs now. Are, are you guys understanding how big China is? How many people live in China? 
how much wealth flows through China, right? China is the agricultural hub of the planet, okay? Anybody who's do, selling anything, more than likely, when you flip it over, it says made in where? So, yeah, when we think about more funds coming into this space, my question to you guys is, wouldn't it be cool if you could say, man, I got in right when this moment happened and I watched all of this take place, right? These are the things that are so cool to me. Now, I want to double back just a little bit. We know Bitcoin right now is around like $64,000. Some of you guys are probably saying, Kurt, I don't got $64,000 just sitting around. I get it. None of us really do right now, outside of Richard, right? So when we think about how, <laughs> when we think about how we can attack this, right, how we can break this down to its best denominator, my biggest thing for you guys is this. We can trade these things called altcoins that are smaller than Bitcoin, but they move faster than Bitcoin. This is where the classes, the go live sessions really start to ramp up, right? Projects like Ethereum, right? Projects like BNB, Solana, right? Some of you guys may have been on the session. And I want to see, because I, I want to show anybody who hasn't been here, pay attention to the chat for a few seconds. I want to show you guys something. When we started our trainings, I want to say the beginning, almost like the middle of last year, the middle of 2023, there was a moment where Solana had dipped to a price point. Does anybody remember that price point we told you guys to start buying in on Solana? Go ahead and put it in the chat. I'm not even going to say the price point. I just want you guys in the chat to see where that price point was. It was around 8 to $9, right? $20 if you were a little bit late. And here we are sitting at around $140. Do you understand when it went to $16, your money doubled, right? When it went to $32, it doubled again, right? When it went to $64, it doubled again. Are, are you picking up what I'm putting down here, right? So we have an opportunity with these smaller projects to outpace Bitcoin, and now you guys can start taking those kind of profits and start doubling back and actually accumulating Bitcoin right now, right? And down the line, this is the, this is the strategy because we, we don't want you guys to feel discouraged. Oh, man, I, I see Bitcoin at these levels, bro, and I just I don't think it's for me. I think I'm a little too late. You're not too late. You are 100% right on time. There's never been a better time outside of yesterday, all right? <laughs> so you're here today, right? And the beautiful part about it is you're here with the right people at the right time in the right space, right? Ty said it perfectly when we started the call off. Like you, you guys really have to understand. Some of you guys have been like praying for something to come into your life. You guys have been asking God, asking the universe for something to come into your life. And you're literally sitting in front of something where we're gonna start seeing the largest financial wealth transfer in human history. Do you guys remember when the Great Depression happened in the 1930s, right? Everybody was terrified. Nobody knew how we were gonna recover. The countries were all trying to figure out how we're gonna, be, how we're gonna rebuild everything after the war. And the stock market was one of the greatest things people could invest in back then. This is literally the recreation of the stock market right now in front of you. And I also want to set the tone for this as well. A lot of these older people that have been taught gold was the best asset to hold on to and stocks are the best asset to hold on to. You do understand that. I'm just going to look around a little bit because I just, have you guys seen these gray hairs that are popping up on our faces? Have you noticed that we're getting... You know, ladies, you guys, you, you guys can hide them a little bit better than we can. But fellas, you, you, we got a couple of grades popping up. I found a hair in my ear. I was scared. I screamed. I didn't know what to do. All right. I'm like, why am I getting hair in my ear? I'm not a granddad. Why is this happening to me? Right. It made me feel a certain way. But it made me realize something that we're going to be we're going to be taking the torch really soon. We're going to be the ones deciding where the store of values are. Right. There's a passing of the torch. There's a, a new wave of investing coming into play right now. The digital world is upon us. Listen, you guys are already a part of it. You don't even know it. How many of you guys carry wads of cash every day? Right? There you go. Most of us walk around with cards. Most of us are just using Apple Pay. This is my first iPhone. I love it. Don't tell Mike. All right? So I want to make sure <laughs> I want to make sure that you guys are really understanding that technology is winning. Technology is not going to go away. All right? And we're looking at something now where in the beginning, First, they laughed at Bitcoin. They, they looked at it and said, oh, you guys are silly. You guys are nerds, right? And then they tried to ban it, right? And now all of a sudden, we're seeing governments get involved. We're seeing companies get involved. We're seeing everybody get excited about grabbing this BTC and holding on to it. And now we're looking at things like Ethereum get a lot more attention. We're looking at things like Solana get a lot of partnerships, right? We're in things about XRP that are getting people really amped up about the banking space. We're witnessing 
a very new way of money coming into existence. And the thing is, and I say this every time, you're going to learn about crypto because you want to or because you have to. Let that sink in for a second. You're going to learn about crypto because you want to or because you have to. And it would be much better if you did it because you wanted to. Listen, I live in America. And here in America, we got this thing called credit. Have you guys, like, ever noticed that growing up as children, our parents never taught us about credit? Like, we became adults and had to teach ourselves about credit, right? Like, this wasn't like something we got sat down at the kitchen table and said, all right, today, son, I'm going to teach you how to build credit. All right, daughter, we're going to show you guys how to get a high credit score. No, no one taught us this stuff. And here we are now watching everything become digitized, right? It's, it's really a scenario where you have to understand this space is, is revolutionary. I believe Bitcoin, in my opinion, is one of the greatest inventions in human history. And I want you guys to be on the right side of history. It's not attached to any government. It's not, on, it's not attached to any sort of one entity. It's not attached to a company. It's literally its own sovereign currency that the world can participate in. And a lot of us are spoiled because we live in places like the UK and America and all these more developed areas around the world. There are people that don't even have access to the internet like we do freely. So when you have something like Bitcoin that allows you to opt out of your government's currency that may be failing, I mean, you guys know about Zimbabwe, right? They have a trillion dollar bill, okay? Nothing, nothing about that is exciting. You might think about, I have a trillion, I have one, I think I have one of them over here somewhere. Like a Zimbabwe trillion dollar bill is probably one of the saddest things. Yeah, this one here is, a, oh, I'm sorry, it's a $10 billion bill from Zimbabwe. Hyperinflation is a real thing, right? They printed too much money and that's what happened to their economy. Does anybody remember a little scenario that took place, you know, involved a lot of coughing and everybody looked like a ninja for a couple of months, right? <laughs> we all had to wear masks. <laughs> Everyone had to smell their own breath for an extended period of time, right? During that time, we printed a lot of money. Does anybody remember that? And all of a sudden, we're being told that money has left the planet and flown off into the sun to be burned up. Oh, that's right. It didn't. It just changed hands. And it's looking for a new home inside of crypto because we currently have around $2.4 trillion hanging out inside of this space. And they're waiting to jump in, right? And I want to make sure you guys understand what we're doing here. I'm just educating you guys on the space and what's happening. I'm about to go down a whole rabbit hole with you guys. And I want you to really stay with me here because I'm going to show you guys a couple of coins that I believe have huge potential, huge upside that could truly benefit you guys in the future. All right. Now, we know that Ethereum is one of those kind of projects where it's not comparable to Bitcoin in the same sense of a store of value. Ethereum has a ton of use case, but I want to I want to show you guys how this website I'm on CoinGecko works and how beautiful this is, right? So I'm on CoinGecko, nothing too crazy. I'm on a normal homepage. When you scroll down and click on Bitcoin, it's going to show you these numbers and these you know a few words over here on the side. These are just considered the tokenomics, right? This breaks down the the inner workings and the inner value of Bitcoin, right? Currently, right now, there's a little over a trillion dollars sitting inside of Bitcoin's value in the market cap. You have the fully diluted value, which simply takes the entire amount of Bitcoin that would be that would be available if it's in full release, if the whole thing was in full circulation and the current price. And it tells you it would be around this price point. Right. So it lets you know right now, even if Bitcoin had the last few of them out, it wouldn't dramatically change the fully diluted valuation. Now you see here the 24 hour volume is how much is flowing through Bitcoin currently in the last 24 hours. And you guys are seeing, like I said before, the circulating supply. The most important thing you have to notice with Bitcoin is this right here. There is a max supply on Bitcoin of only 21 million, right? Do me a favor, everybody in the chat, type 21 million. I just want to make sure you guys are, are with me right now, all right? Now, understand there's only going to be 21 million, right? You know, you, know, you got to listen to Drake, 21. Can you do something? Anyway, so when you understand that there's only going to be 21 million BTC, let's back up. And I want to show you guys Ethereum. And some of you guys are going to say, oh, Ethereum's got to be cool because it's the number two coin. It must have a really cool max supply. It does not have a max supply. It had a number eight that fell asleep and never woke up. Okay? That's an infinity sign. When you understand <laughs> that Ethereum has a very different proposition, does it make it bad that it has that, that, that infinity sign? I want you guys to understand that Ethereum is a deflationary coin. What does that mean? For the U.S. dollar, we know it's inflationary. 
they can keep printing and printing and printing and printing U.S. dollars and euros and Great British pounds so the cows come home. When you look at something like Ethereum, you think that on first glance, but Ethereum has another mechanism inside of it. But due to an update called EIP-1559, yes, I'm a nerd, EIP-1559 states that every time a transaction is done on Bitcoin's blockchain, they burn a small amount of Ethereum off the network, right? I thought that was probably one of the coolest things in the world that they're taking small amounts of ETH and removing it from the network, right? Now, if I told you guys every time you went out to Walmart or Best Buy or any one of these stores and bought something that you wanted, they burned a little bit of your fiat money out of the system. They burned a little bit of euros. They burned a little bit of Great British Pounds. They burned a little bit of U.S. dollars. You'd be swine diving into your couch looking for loose change because you would think how valuable your money would be every time you spent a little bit of money, they took some out the supply. You'd have a whole new respect for your currency. But that isn't the case because we have a lot of people in our governments and a lot of people that run our, our finance system that are just really greedy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got to bring some water up here. So we know that greed runs the world. We, we can't get away from it. With things like this, it gives you a different proposition because the more useful that Ethereum is, right, with NFTs, right, with DeFi, with all the altcoins, they're going to keep burning or burning a small amount of Ethereum off the network. Now, I want to show you guys something really, really quick. All right, now, this is one of, one of the newest ones I found, all right? And I think this one is pretty cool because it exists on Ethereum's network, all right? And you guys can see here, this project has had some crazy spikes up and down. It's called Proppy, and Pro is a ticker symbol. I want to go to the website, and I want to show you something. What do you think is going to happen to blockchain when we start seeing real estate show up on the blockchain i could just send you a couple of coins and i own the home now and the thing is let's say you guys have an older relative right an older aunt or uncle or grandmother or grandfather right and something happens to them you know they pass and now we can't find the deed to the home we can't find the title to the home what happens now after that the banks show up and they start to reclaim those properties again right when you have this kind of technology and something happens to that loved one, it exists on the blockchain. No one can come in and take it, touch it, do anything to change it. It exists forever on the blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, we are realizing something right now in this space where we have given so much of our power away throughout the years and blockchain is allowing us to reclaim that power. You understand that every time you buy a property, a lot of times you never fully own it. You just paying taxes on it. And then something happens to you, they can come in and take it. And don't pay your taxes to find out what happens. All right? Hey, that property is going right back to Uncle Sam. All right. Inside of this space, it gives us so much more power back and it simplifies things, right? If anybody here has ever bought a home, put a 111 in the chat. I just want to see something real quick. When you buy a home, it's one of the most invasive things you can ever do. They want to know every dime, every dollar, every tax return, everything. It, like, listen, they want to know your shoe size. They want to picture you in a zebra costume. Just unnecessary stuff, right? But you think about this in the like, You're like, man, what is the big deal? Like, why do I have to divulge so much information just to complete a, a, a American dream or a dream of my family to own a home so I can pass things down? It's almost, it's almost too much for something simple. Right. You got closing costs. You got this going on, that going on, the agent, this agent, that agent, these fees, those fees, HOA, like all kind of stuff going on inside of this, this blockchain world. Hey, cool home. How much ETH do you want for it? Hey, cool house. How much Bitcoin do you want for it? Right. I want this to be the simplicity of real estate because I don't believe that any of this stuff is truly necessary inside of this space. Right. That's just one project, guys. That's just one. There are tons of projects right now. I got another one I want to show you guys really quick. All right. And let's see here. Oh. All right. So this one here is called Parcel. Now, this one's a little different. It's built on top of Solana's blockchain. So it's a competitor to the one I just showed you guys called Proppy, right? But you understand what I'm showing you guys right now is very interesting because it's not something that's common. Most people don't know about this stuff. This isn't common information, right? And the thing is for us, this one's a little bit cooler for us because, you know, we, we got a little more of an inside curve with this one. This one allows you to speculate on rising and falling real estate markets, right? Last time I checked, all of us on this call are traders. So 
when they say speculate, they're like, oh, you talking about trading? That's just a fancy word for trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that means all day long. You get to sit down, look at charts of e emerging real estate markets, retracting real estate markets. It's a really interesting time to be in crypto to see these things taking place, right? So I can say, hey, Los Angeles is going up. Pittsburgh seems to be kind of slowing down a little bit. Chicago's market's doing some different things. Okay, we got Solana Beach in California taking a bit of a dip. London real estate is going down a little bit. Miami Beach is seeming to be dipping down and pulling back up. This almost looks like a Fibonacci zone we could be taking advantage of at a 50%. That might be a nice entry. We could start finding opportunities to short the Miami Beach housing market. And then we can circle back and start looking for some actual property, right? Like this is such a cool way to actually gamify the real estate markets. And you're doing it on the blockchain. Right. This this is something I, I want people to really understand. Like I, I research a lot of projects. I take my time to make sure that you guys can find these projects that aren't fully just, you know, overly saturated with venture capitalist money and haven't gotten hyped to the moon and a bunch of telegram chats are coming in and screaming, we're gonna do this and that, and you guys get caught in the wash. I really want to make sure that you guys are finding projects that are gonna benefit you and help you have legacy changing influence in your life. Like I know some of you guys right now are the chosen ones in your family, right? You ever been to like a dinner and everybody's asking you, how's that crypto thing going, right? You still doing that thing? And I'm like, listen, why is it when I get a job, it's not a thing. But when I start something that's all about positivity, manifestation, right? Peace and love and abundance, it's a thing. It just seems so weird, right? Like we're all excited about abundance and, and having these amazing experiences in life and making great friends and growing financially and having all these great experiences. And when you get around your family, they try to make you feel weird. <laughs> It's so crazy, but I love having these kind of calls and these kind of environments because one of the things I believe inside of I am that's really under underrated is the community. Like when you join I am and you latch on to the community, this is something very, very different that allows you to experience something otherwise you probably wouldn't get. Like we just had an event, you know, shout out to Matt Rosa. He had a concert and we were in the concert and I was telling other all the students, they're like, when was the last time you were able to go to a show, a concert, a party? And you knew everybody there had a positive mental attitude. Like, you didn't have to worry about a fight breaking out, nothing odd going on, no weird energy. And everybody kind of had like an oh my gosh moment. Like, I didn't even think about it. Like, you got to really be in the moment in, this, in these spaces and be, and be full of gratitude based off what you have. We have something so special that most people don't even think it exists. Are you understanding what I'm telling you guys? So you guys are maybe on the outside coming in. Maybe this is your first time coming into a meeting and you're like, man, you guys are trying to get me to sign up to make some money off of me. I'm going to dispel this right now. We do not need you to make money here. Okay. We're doing great. All right? We're doing phenomenal even. But we understand that gratitude is the language of the universe and giving is the currency of the universe. And we give from a grateful place here. We want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to experience the things that we've experienced. Because just like we got in, somebody had to tell us. Somebody had to sit down and say, hey, I think this would be really cool for you. I can see you excelling in this. And people that have come in and seen the growth and experienced the company, they feel different when they're when they when they in here. They understand this is not a normal thing. Tons of copycats, never duplicated. This company is here for a reason, and it's built in a, in a specific season to allow people to come in, benefit, grow, latch on, get mentorship, have the knowledge you need, be tapped into a community that truly wants to root for you and see you win, all right? I got another project for you guys that I was checking out the other day. This one here is a security protocol that allows you to actually track down bad actors, right? We know inside of crypto, there's a ton of money flowing in here, trillions of dollars, billions of dollars every day. And this project, Forda, has actually developed a, a code that allows you to track down bad actors. And they've already done it, right? They've gone back and actually found bad actors in reverse transactions, right? SushiSwap had a hack for like $3 million. They tracked down that wallet, got the funds back, right? Uler Finance, around one, well, one was it, $197 million, tracked down that, got it back. Yarn Finance, $11 million, tracked that down, got that back. We know as more money shows up in this space, bad actors are going to show up. I believe a project like this has a ton of demand on the way. And the cool thing about it is most people don't even know about it yet. All right. This project right now is currently 533 in the world. When you look at the chart, nobody's talking about it. 
Nobody's talking about it. And I'm going to back up and look at this again for you guys so you can see who it is. These guys are already working with Compound, Maker, right? Zero Go, Liquidity, Phantom, and their partners with Coinbase. That's, that's not a small company, okay? And the thing is, they're not listed on major exchanges outside of Coinbase. What happens when Binance gets a hold of this? What happens when crypto, Crypto.com gets a hold of this, right? These are projects that you guys are going to start to come in and see, wow, there's so much meat on the bone. I can get this thing at a low price and watch it take off, right? And we've seen it already have crazy spikes up. This price already spiked up to around, was it 40 cents? If it comes back and retests 40 cents again, you've doubled your money that fast. And you guys may, have, may or may not have been on my sessions, but anybody here that's been on my sessions, I'm going to show you all how much of a like, family I have inside my sessions. Anybody that's been on my sessions with me and Mike, what kind of game are we playing right now? Go ahead and put it in the chat. There, there you go. And we're not talking about tennis. <laughs> we're not talking about tennis, just so you guys know. We're all playing a doubles game, right? Ask anybody who's wealthy, the name of the game is can I double my money or no? All right? Anybody who's getting into real estate, anybody who's getting into bonds, anybody who's getting into stocks, anybody who's getting into crypto, they all think, can I double my money or no? And the cool thing about crypto is doubling your money is probably the least of your worries. <laughs> Most of us here want 10x, 20x, 30x, 40x. You see, you see how Richard just entered. He was like, yeah, he turned to a bobblehead. He was like, yes, yes. <laughs> right? Like, we all want that. And the thing is, most of us have experienced it here already. We've seen it happen before. I have students that have crazy testimonies, right? Some of you guys were here when we talked about a project called Polygon back in the day. I dropped Polygon for the company at a penny, okay? I dropped Polygon for the company at a penny. Polygon reached a high of $3, okay, in the last bull run. I just, I really want you to understand what I just told you guys. From a penny to $3, when it hit two cents, it doubled. When it hit four cents, it doubled again. We had to go all the way to $3. <laughs> I love the stock market. I do. It is not doing that. That's, it's not, those things aren't happening over there on a regular basis. All right. There's a project I just told you guys about called Casper. All right. I'm going to do a whole class on this project. I think this project has a ton of potential. I want to show you how old this project is. Okay. All right. This project started in 2022. All right. I'm going to show you how far it's gone in, in less than two years. Yes, that's the growth of this project in less than two years. That's crypto for you. This thing's almost going 70,000 percent in less than two years. Mm hmm. That part. This thing was a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny. And here we are when it came all the way up to around 18 cents. That is the equivalent of hitting the lotto, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And people see that and say, oh, this project's done. It's, this project's done. It's already had its run. No, it's not done. It's far from done. It's, it has more room to run. I want to go back to this chart, and I just want to have a moment with you guys. Do you think that when we saw the halving here, people were screaming, the market's done, and then this giant move happened? When the halving happened here, oh, the market's done, and then this giant move happened. It flatlined, and then a giant move happened. Same thing over here. It flatlined, and then the giant move happened. Where are we right now? Again, I just want to get a little bit of a check of where we are right now. It flatlined, and then what do you think is going to happen after that? Hmm? Riddle me that. Anybody in here got an idea? Right? I just seen Tasha's eyebrows go to the back of her neck. She was like, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen <laughs> in the markets. All right? Like, I, I am so amped up for you guys. All right? Listen, I, I watched Golden... Take like she's changed her position like three times on this call. Okay, she didn't got arched over back around. She just sat on the bed and got comfortable. It's a whole thing right now. Like everybody is so immersed on this call right now. Like I need you guys to start really feeling the wave that's coming to you right now. All right, like digital T. Just just hear me out, digital T. I know you're chilling. I know you in your zone right now. But I really want you guys to really know like this is historical times in the market that you won't get back. Now some of you guys may be feeling a little discouraged, like. Oh man, Kurt, I'm 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 not really, you know, in a place right now where I can afford to get a lot of these bigger projects. I'm not really in a place right now where I can I can come in and spend all this money. You know, I don't have the kind of money that Leah Martin has. So I'm trying to figure out what can I do 
to invest in these projects, right? Like I've been sitting around and I've been watching Warrior Spirit, you know, you know, go to go to the plasma bank and now they're making all this money in crypto because they sold plasma. It might be a too late for me, right? You know, we don't we don't have the kind of money like Don has. So we're trying to all figure out what can we do to get on the same level as Don, Maria, and, and Leah, right? We want to figure out what can we do, right? Well, here's the cool thing. And it's I want to ask, I want to ask Rich, is it okay? Is it okay if I just give like a sneak peek? Of some, of some some heat I, I, I just divulged if we good all right all right all right he said it's cool so all right he's listen y'all y'all gonna keep letting me do stuff i'm gonna do it all right so <laughs> i was on a call with mike sotero yesterday and some of you guys may have been on a call some of you guys may have missed it and it's fine i'm, I'm not tripping if you guys missed it but we released something very special okay and i want to share this with you guys for just a moment this right here is a brand new list of projects that I released on that call. All right. Some of y'all trying to screenshot it right now. Ah, ta, 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 ta. Slow down. Slow down. All right. I want you guys to go over to go live and I want you to watch that call and get that list because there are some projects on that list that have very specific instructions. So this isn't as simple as just her gave me the list. I'm going to buy everything on the list. No, no, no. I wore this hat for a reason. It's the bulls, but it's only red in the front because you got to know when it's time to slow down, all right? Every day, it's, it's bull season, but we got to know when it's time to pump the brakes, okay? And not every project is going to just be a home run, right? I believe AI is going to be massive in this next run, okay? And there are some AI projects right now that I think have a ton of upside, but not all AI projects are created equal, right? All right, so... Projects like Akash are really interesting. I've been talking about Akash for like three years now. Like this project is crazy. They've revamped and pivoted a couple of times, but they're doing a lot of amazing things right now with this network. I want you guys to really think about this. When you think about AI, you think about ChatGPT, you think about Bard, you think about all these amazing inventions we've seen in the last year, like year and a half, year two years. And we don't think about AI being as dominant as it's going to be in the future. They're going to put around $200 trillion into AI. And not just the learning software, they're going to be putting it into computing because AI computing takes up a ton of space. All right. And guess what the cool thing about blockchain is? It's built for storage. I try to, I try to help you guys understand why I believe blockchain is the future. And it's not a hard thing to understand. The internet was not built to last. I'm going to say that one more time for my, for my new family. The internet was not built to last. It was built to connect, okay? There's something called web rot, W-E-B-R-O-T, web rot, like a rotting fruit. Web rot states that in the last, say, around 20 years, 30 years, we've witnessed so many websites that have just disappeared and we can't get them back, right? There are Supreme Court cases that were logged on websites that are gone. We cannot get those court cases precedent back. Web rot is a real thing. I'm also gonna say this. Some of you guys are already getting a lot of these NFTs and you think they're gonna last forever. They're not on the blockchain. They exist on a website. They're JPEGs with a .com attached to it. So when you click on these pictures in the next 20, 30, 40 years, it, it may not be there if Earl forgets to pay for the website. All right, whoever Earl may be. So you wanna be, you want to be very mindful of how we navigate in the cryptocurrency space. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a nugget on NFTs when we end the call, right? Because I told y'all I was going to give y'all some heat today. But projects like Akash aren't trying to compete with the chat GPTs and the, the Google Bards. They're offering computing power. Ooh. And they allow you to come in and participate by offering up some of your computing power and earning said value through their coin. Make sense? Because they know server farms cost a ton of money. And they can utilize your idle computing power to help process some of these things that the AI wants to do. Right? It's an entirely different wave, right? So projects like Akash aren't trying to be AI products. They want to bring AI storage and AI computing to a bigger space. So when we have the internet that's built to connect and we have blockchain, aka Web3, that's built to store because blockchain and Web3 is simply just a ledger, right? that can have long-term storage. Now we have this marriage of connectivity and storage. Now we have an optimized internet. 
this is why Web3 is so powerful. And everybody right now is thinking, it's scary. That crypto thing's a scam. Okay. Hear me out. Wouldn't it be cool if we all had, if we all were just one big company, right? All 110 of us were just one big company. And we got into an agreement and said, hey, guys, we're going to tell everybody that this one thing is horrible. And they should stay away from it. And we're all going to come in and build the, the infrastructure and the plumbing. We're going to put all our value in. And when we're ready, we'll re-release it and brand it as Web3. And everybody can come in and benefit from it because we've deemed it cool again. Wouldn't that be cool if we could all do that? And everybody just jumped in after we put all our money in. That's essentially what you're watching right now. They told people, you better stay away from crypto. Those stable coins are a scam. JP Morgan, the, the head of JP Morgan, uh, what's his name? Jamie Dimon said, I'll fire anybody in my company that I catch trading crypto. Last time I checked, JP Morgan has a coin. Last time I checked, JP Morgan is a venture capitalist for the uh, MetaMask wallet. Seems a little two-faced. Nothing illegal about it. Just a little unethical, right? When was the last time a bank came in and saved your life? When was the last time a bank said, we got your best interest at heart? When was the last time a bank said, you know what? We got your back. I'll wait. How much time we got? So now that we all are in agreement that that didn't happen and I can hear the crickets going in the background, it's not coming. There's no SEAL Team 6 coming through the ceiling to save us, all right? We have to be a community of like-minded individuals that have a very similar goal of building legacies, growing wealth, and locking arms for the right reasons and doing it with integrity and doing it with the love that giving is the currency of the universe and you got to give from a grateful place. This, this is unlike anything I've ever seen. My, bit, my greatest analogy of the company is it's like church for money, right? <laughs> it's the best thing I can call it. I've never seen nothing like this before. And if you think you're going to get wealthy without God, I, don't, I hate to be the one to tell you, but you're going to need him. You're going to need him, right? You're going to need him. And that's the beautiful thing about this company is, is it really is a God-centric company. Like we all believe, we all know there's a higher power. We all know that there's something pushing us and motivating us. And I want you guys to really understand, like this is a powerful time to be inside this space. I also want to give you guys another coin, if that's cool with y'all. Can I get, can I get y'all one more before I, before I pass it back? Because I think, I think we're in a place right now where it's like, dude, there's some heat going on right now. And I want to see if I can get y'all one more that will be litty. All right, th this one's a little more risky. So I did this one's a little more of, 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 of Richard's alley here because he likes the risky stuff. So I'm going to give you guys one of the riskier. <laughs> now, this one here is, uh, I don't even want to show you guys this one because it's a whole thing going on with this one right now. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, we could do this one. All right. So this project here is very risky. Now, I want you to notice something. This project started april the second this month it's not even a month old yet it's in the top 100 coins already what how is that possible it's so it's not even a month old and it's in the top 100 how does it have a billion dollars and it's not even a month old yet what are they doing notice the price has ran up and we're having a nice pullback and for anybody who knows Fibonacci, this looked like a barbecue chicken entry right here. This one of them, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to need another one of those before I get up out of here. All right, those one of those good entries. All right, now, I'm going to go to the website, and I want you guys to notice something here. This is all about making the internet lending friendly, right? You can borrow inside of this, pro this, this protocol. Notice what the APY is, 11.6%. This is very reminiscent to my crypto OGs. This is very reminiscent to a project called Terra Luna. Mm. And we know how big Terra Luna got. The problem with Terra Luna was that it didn't have the right checks and balances to keep people from withdrawing too much. And it didn't have the right protocols to allow people to come in and over collateralize. This project is over collateralized and it has checks and balances as a part of it. And everybody has been swan diving into this thing. Now, I'm not telling you guys to come in and just park a bunch of value here. I'm just simply saying this project stands to grow a lot, considering where it is right now and how huge Terra Luna was. And it only had a few things wrong with it. This project comes in and says, we fixed the things that we know Terra Luna should have done. So we do have some very powerful things happening in this space. And I want you guys to know it's not done moving yet. The bull run hasn't even started fully yet. And this project right now is in a pullback. 
and it's already in the top 100 and it's not even a month old yet. These are the kind of stories where when you look back at this thing a year from now, a year and a half from now, it, it could potentially be a $5 coin, a $6 coin, right? And there's, there's one more. There's one more and I'm done. All right. I know I said that was the last one. This is the last one. All right. This project is very interesting in the sense that it's come out early this year, beginning of this year, January, it released. And it's a part of a category called real world assets. It's already number like number 85. It's in the top 100 projects. You've seen nothing but a consistent growth to the upside. This project has gone out and tokenized real world assets from big companies like BlackRock. Yeah, they actually offer like treasuries with this project. <laughs> Some of you guys may or may not know what that is, but if you don't live in America, it's difficult to get U.S. treasuries, okay? You got to have some social security numbers. You got to have some routing numbers. You got to have some places for them to be able to send this money and receive this money. So seeing stuff like this is a massive deal. And you can see that there's a ton of value already parked in a lot of these projects already. And the APY on these are beautiful. So Ando has crazy partnerships already. They're working with some of the heavy hitters in this space. So I just want you guys to be mindful of these kind of projects. And like I said, they got beautiful leadership already. Goldman Sachs, Bridgewater, Millennium, and Maker. Maker is one of the largest, largest parts of DeFi inside, not just Ethereum, but the entire cryptocurrency space. Maker is in the process of leaving ETH's network and making their own centralized network where they're going to be the basically central bank for crypto. This is this is some next level stuff I'm showing you guys that most people aren't paying attention to. And once again, when you go to Ando, it's a bit of a pullback right now. All right, guys. So we're witnessing some really, really awesome stuff. Like I said, the list I just showed you guys has a lot of other projects in here, but I want you guys to go watch that class so you can actually get instructions. And I'm gonna do a deeper dive on these. Don't worry, it'll be a whole breakdown. I'm gonna be step by stepping you guys with a lot of these projects. But there are way more AI projects on that list than anything else. And they have a ton of upside. You said you missed the name. Still on screen. Still on screen right here. Ando. This one here. But yeah, guys, ton of value. And the thing is, we're just getting started. This is this is far from over. I know you guys are seeing some of these products that have taken off. I dropped a list a year ago. And I felt like it would only be fair if I made another list this, you know, during this time. Because some of you guys are just coming into the company. Some of you guys are literally excited and just, you know, teeming with, with anticipation to come into this space. But a lot of those products on the on the list I dropped a year ago have already ran 800 percent, a thousand percent. And it's just not fair to tell you guys to grab those. So I felt like it'd be cool if I came back and, you know, gave you guys a good amount of products that can kind of get the ball rolling for you and still find value in the first list I released for you guys as well. So a lot of work went into this, a lot of effort, a lot of time. And I and my, and my biggest calling, I believe, in my life is to make sure that I can help change as many people's lives when it comes to this information. And, and do it from a place where it's fun. It's a good time. You don't have to sit in here and just be dry eyed the whole time we're talking about crypto. Like, I know it's complicated stuff, a lot of big words, but there's all, so, there's all sorts of value taking place right now. Like, even right now, there's something happening on Bitcoin's blockchain due to the halving. They're releasing a new protocol or a new standard called Runes on Bitcoin's blockchain. And Runes simply means that they're going to be able to make smart contracts now on Bitcoin's blockchain. And it's going to speed up the blockchain because of it. It's, it's some wild stuff going on. So Bitcoin now can essentially compete with Ethereum and Solana and Cardano and all the other blockchains. We're going to have DeFi on Bitcoin's network. Now, I told you guys before I would get out of here, I want to give you guys a little bit of information on NFTs. And it revolves around Bitcoin. Bitcoin's NFTs that have been created are called ordinals. Ordinals exist only on Bitcoin's network. There aren't, there isn't a website that these pictures exist on. They exist on chain. So there is no disappearing. Those NFTs on Bitcoin's network are going to exist forever. As long as Bitcoin exists, they're going to exist. There's no maintenance to the website. There's no calling Earl, telling him to pay for the, the URL. These things are going to exist forever on Bitcoin's network. I just want you guys to think about that. If something happens to you, and you pass down a picture on Bitcoin's network, it is literally going to exist in your family's, family's lineage forever, okay? That's one. The second thing is, 
Bitcoin doesn't have infinite space. There is a finite amount of real estate on Bitcoin's network. So that means every NFT on Bitcoin's network is just that much more valuable because it's taking up real estate on the network that they can't get back. Like, just, just think about that for a second. If we lived in a little square and there was little small parts of real estate, every one of those would be incredibly valuable because we can't get them back. Yeah, ordinals are the first stage. This next stage are called runes. Just listen, you can go on YouTube and just type in runes. It's literally like Ready Player One right now on Bitcoin's blockchain. Everybody is in a hunt to find the runes because they work off of a different type of technology where they're going to be utilizing like a, almost like a dead blocks to build out this runes now that you can build meme tokens on, smart contracts on. It's a whole way. And they're starting, off, they're starting everything off with meme tokens. And then you'll start seeing smart contracts and DeFi show up. But it's a very exciting time to be a part of Bitcoin's blockchain. And I keep telling people, like, the name of the game is not to hold a million altcoins. The name of the game is to trade altcoins to speed up our process so you can double back and then purchase Bitcoin. All right? Yeah, runes. Just, just how they put it in the chat. Runes. It's, it's a whole thing that's happening right now. And, I mean, you, you even, like, on Magic Eden. Let me see. I'll, I'll, pull it, I'll pull this up for you guys, and we can, we can wrap up. Magic Eden is a website that allows you to trade ordinals and things like that it's it's a whole thing Let's see here mm -hmm. all right here we go now magic eden is is interesting because you can do a lot on this website but there is a whole wave right now of people coming in and you can see here pre runes like all of this stuff launches after the having and I mean, they're already 4K, three to almost 2,000, 8,000. This stuff is already becoming one of the biggest, most sought-after NFT rushes since we saw Bored Apes. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not big on NFTs. I don't think they're going to be, you know, the biggest and baddest thing in the world. But I think this is something cool to pay attention to because you're witnessing a very new form. And the thing is, this is just the start. They're, they're finding new ways to utilize Bitcoin's blockchain every single day. So just having a little bit of BTC is worth far more than you think. So when you look at these prices and you think, oh, I would never buy Bitcoin because it's too expensive. I'll just buy ETH or I'll just buy XRP or I'll just buy. That's fine. But even a small amount of Bitcoin goes a long, long way for the future. Just accumulating a small amount goes a long way for the future because I want you guys not to look at this as, as a price point. I want you to look at this as real estate, digital real estate. If you can wrap your mind around that, you'll have a very different experience inside of Bitcoin, a very different experience inside of blockchain in general. And you'll start to see this for what it's worth and not just for a quick get rich thing. Like you start realizing this is legacy. This is the beginning of something very, very different where you will be able to put this money to work for you and you can live off the interest and not the principal. And that, that's, that's the goal for all of us is to live off the interest and not the principal. All right. I want you guys to be able to park your money somewhere and just get paid for leaving it with, 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 a, with, a, with an entity, and now every month you're getting, you know, a certain percentage off of your millions. And if something happens to you, your family's still taking care of family. That, that's the biggest, the biggest thing I want for everybody on this call, but you got to want it for yourself. And I can't, I can't drag you across the finish line kicking and screaming. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to pass it back over to you, man. I know I, know I can talk. I know I'm, I'm, I'm a little long-winded, but <laughs> I like making sure that I can give you guys as much information as possible. And it's just for me, this is one of those things where, you know, it's it's just it's a labor of love. And I and I, I can't be more thankful and grateful that for, for what I do and who I can do this stuff for. Man, Brock Kurt, thank you so, so, so much for your time, for the value. You just went far above and beyond what I think any of us were anticipating today. Just thank you, man. You just dropped so much. I'm getting text messages from people that are like, bro, the session. <laughs> they just weren't expecting this. And they don't even know that they can tune into you multiple times per week live yet. They haven't even seen what that looks like, but we'll get to that. But man, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything you do for our community, or just consistently behind the scenes and for showing up for this call today. I know you've just given so much. So thank you so much, my man. We'll catch up again soon. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you on Go Live. Uh, we'll keep staying patient and disciplined. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So guys, real, real, quick, real quick for you guys, keep going. Shout out to Richard. Richard is a workhorse. He was hounding me to make sure that I did this call. He fights for you guys. Listen, 
He fights for you guys. When he's out at these events and he's doing his thing, he is fighting for you guys to get every educator that can bring value to you guys. I'm talking about he wouldn't let me leave the hallway, okay? And if you know, Richard's not a small guy. So <laughs> when he's talking, I'm like, all right, bro, let's, let's figure it out right now. He's like, yeah, right now, right? <laughs> like, he fights for you guys. So just know you guys are teamed up with some of the, some of the, some of the biggest and the baddest, all right? So I definitely want to give Richard his flowers. That dude is definitely a workforce for you guys, man. Oh, man. Kurt, thank you. Well, speaking of which, that is that is our next guest for this call. So, man, Kurt, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be pointing everyone towards your Go Live channel after this to, to help them figure that out. Let me unpin you. And, guys, for this next special guest, the, I know this call has gone on um, in a beautiful way. We've got so much value, but there is just even a little bit more hot sauce. And and Kurt alluded to that, like, you know, the, the, the spirit of this company is generosity. Like, we truly believe that you know, you cannot be, if you don't give and let out what you've gotten, you will become a reservoir and, and reservoirs become swamps. But we believe in being rivers and letting things flow. And so with that, like Kurt just said, Richard has been fighting behind the scenes to, to build this community in a huge way. You know, he got started here years and years ago as well, got running got, and decided to turn on his leadership because no, nothing thrives and grows without leadership. And, and that has completely been exemplified in the way that he leads and serves our community. He's flown to New Zealand twice to be with us here and help us. And so he's here to share with us today. He's leading a team of thousands around the world guys he's seen it all as well been running with kurt and our, our top senior leaders for a very long time and i want to bring him on to share with you just a little bit of what is possible in this space for you because he's seen it all at this point and to give you some perspective of someone that is a very high level entrepreneur who has nothing but the best intentions in his heart to see you succeed so with that guys drop some love in the chat for our man mr richard Uster, chairman 25 to come and join us for a few minutes to wrap this call up and then we're going to get out of here and watch this halving happen live so rich over to you my man let's get it yo well guys go ahead and put the word value in the chat for kurt uh if you got some value on this call uh go ahead and follow kurt on instagram blockchain cobain and guys i'm telling you right now like i know everybody in this company and kurt is one of the most authentic, real, uh, loving, caring dudes that you will ever meet. And 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 he he he's talking about how, you know, I, I had to push him to do this. I didn't, I said one word to him and he was like, bro, anything you need, I got it, I got you. Um, and and here's the thing is what he said earlier, I actually videoed it and put it on my story because he was talking about the community. You know, I was wearing this bracelet at the event right? This is home bracelet right here. I was wearing this bracelet at the event and people started chanting it when I was on stage doing my talk. And this is the thing is like this community and this company, this is home for us. And, and, and I've had so many opportunities to go do other things and I, I, and I ain't going anywhere because I believe in the people in this company. I believe in the people in this community, all of you guys, I believe in you guys that you can come in here and have success as well. And that's ultimately what it's about. It's, you know, it's it's putting yourself in an environment where you can grow and putting yourself in an environment where you don't have to look anywhere else. You have everything that you need right here. So um, Ty is, is you know, I, I can't say enough good things about Ty and what he's done inside of his organization and, and for the whole team and, and also for the company. I mean, he's known around the company as the leader in the South Pacific and for a good reason. And I want you guys to understand, like if you're on this call and you're just meeting him for the first time, uh, go follow him, go see what he's doing. He just got back from Bali with his beautiful wife on their anniversary trip, uh, which made me so happy, man, because I, I mean, I'm a travel guy. You guys know that travel is my thing. And when I see my team and the people that I love and care about traveling the world, experiencing what it's like to truly be a part of, of something like this and, and reap the benefits and the rewards um, and the perks, it's it's just beautiful. So um, I'm not going to go any any much longer, guys. I just really wanted to pop on and say hello to you guys. Say I love you. I care about you guys. I'm excited for each and every one of you guys getting started. All you got to do to get started, it's 250, uh, 2, 249 to get started, 275 if you want to get the, uh, the, 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 the bundle pack where you can get everything. Um, but guys, a couple hundred bucks, all right? You get access to Kurt weekly, right? And, and and Kurt's just not an educator, right? I mean, I, I call it edutainment. He's a he's an entertainer. He's going to entertain you. He's going to keep you plugged in. We got people like Mike Sotero, right? We got people like Nick Gomez. There's so many educators that you're going to get access to, um, as, as well as you know coming to the events. And I want you guys, if you're if you're just getting started now, or if you've already just gotten started recently, 
Um, get your ticket for Monterey, Mexico. These tickets are selling out fast. We just had 5,500 tickets for our next convention sell out in five days. All right. And it's because you get to go and you get to see Kurt live. You get to maybe bump into him in the hall and take a photo with him, right? You get to go and hear from the, the most legendary educators and leaders inside of our community. So get your ticket for the Mexico event and we'll see you guys there as well. But um, I know this is going to be up on YouTube. I know that this video and this uh, recording uh, may get sent to people afterwards. So if you get sent this recording, right, if you've been invited as a guest to look at this, go ahead and just get back with the person that invited you here and they will get you started. We'll get you signed up. We'll get you plugged in. We'll get you connected with the community so you can, you know, really go in and start uh, creating the life for yourself that you want and the freedom that you want for yourself and your family and your future. And like Kurt said, the legacy, man. So Kurt, we love you, bro. Appreciate you so much, man. I cannot, I, I cannot even put into words what you mean to this company. I hear it from so many people, man, all the time about just your heart and how much you give. And, and you, like you said, it's about gratitude and it's about giving, bro. Gratitude and giving. So we're grateful for you. Uh, we love you, man. And all, all the value that you give. Ty, appreciate you, bro. And, and, and everything that you do. And we're excited, guys. So go ahead and get back with whoever got you this call. Uh, got you the link for this. Let's get you signed up. Let's get you plugged in. And Ty, I'll let you wrap it up, bro. You're muted, bro. There you go. Thank you. Bro, thank you so, so, so much, Rich, for being with us. Uh, you know, the international family running at a thousand miles an hour all over the place, but but slowing down and taking the time to be present to, to lean back and really help you. So if you're watching this, you haven't even seen what it looks like on the inside yet. If you want to see that, like like we've all said, get back to whoever and you have you just have no idea. I mean, I, I'm going to show you in just five seconds what this really looks like, because Kurt is one of one of. So here's here's go live. This is where we're learning live crypto education. There's foundations. If you're brand new, all of these people are teaching live throughout the week. I mean, if you roll down, you'll see that Kurt has been on here for thousands and thousands of hours and, and they're live all throughout the week. And with that, we have an app even called SwipeCoin. MySwipeCoin.im is the app. So in here, guys, these people are sending us trade ideas. All those coins that Kurt was talking about, whether you're building a portfolio or whether you want to take day trades, you can get on that app and have those ideas sent to you by an expert and then communication through the live sessions, through the app of when to get out, when's a good time to, to take some profit, etc. So if you want to learn this stuff, if you're brand new, we actually also have a Crypto Made Easy Bootcamp, a 21-day bootcamp launching very, very soon. So it's an amazing time for you to get started, learn some foundations, jump in that bootcamp, get a 90-day game plan mapped out for you so you can get started, but then also thrive in this space. And so with that, once again, thank you so much for being with us live, for tuning in on your weekend. And guys, Bitcoin halving is happening today. So stop wasting time, stop procrastinating, decide what you want your life to look like three years, five years, 10 years from now, and take some massive action and believe that you can do it and watch how much your life can change in a short amount of time when you're prepared to take that action. So with that, thanks again for being with us, everyone. I'm going to chuck on a song and we'll leave it at that. But I want to say a massive welcome to the family, welcome to the team if you're getting started, and we'll see you on the inside. With that again, guys, good evening, good morning, good night, have an amazing afternoon and weekend, and we'll see you all again soon. Thanks, everyone.